Good morning and thank you for joining Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Wednesday. The Douglas County School Board will hold a special meeting today to discuss the search for its new superintendent. It's the board's first special meeting since February 4th when the conservative majority voted to fire Corey Wise as superintendent. The board will discuss a hiring process and timeline, a job description and interview questions for superintendent applicants. Unlike the meeting earlier this month, the meeting will have public comment. It starts at five tonight. Our team will be there to follow any new developments. A retired Aurora police sergeant who helped cover up a series of pipe bombings has been sentenced to 90 days in jail. The bombs were dropped in the roadways of Aurora neighborhoods in late 2020 and early 2021. Three homes suffered damage. No one was hurt. The person responsible for those bombings was found to be living in the basement of a home and had been aided by Curtis Christensen, an officer. Christensen also bought an AR-15 that he gave to the suspect despite knowing he was a convicted felon. He left Aurora Police in 2006. Governor Jared Polis is officially seeking a second term. He kicked off his re-election campaign in Pueblo, where he also launched his first campaign for governor. There are several Republicans trying to unseat him, including businesswoman and CU Regent Heidi Ganahl and businessman Greg Lopez. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 Weather Action Day forecast. It is an action day. We are tracking a storm that's going to bring snow to the evening commute, and at times it's going to be pretty heavy. Now this morning we're looking at clear conditions. You're going to find some sunshine for the morning drive. It's a very fast moving storm. It's going to stay pretty chilly. We're in the 20s early this morning, and highs are only going to be likely in the mid to upper 30s by lunchtime. It's then going to get colder from there as the storm rolls in. As far as the timing goes, expecting this snow to develop by early afternoon. Heaviest snow is going to be falling during the evening commute here in town and likely between about four and eight o'clock. We could pick up around four to eight inches for the metro area. Winter storm warning goes into effect at two o'clock this afternoon. Skies will clear overnight tonight, but it's going to be cold tomorrow morning. So a slick evening drive tonight and again tomorrow morning.